Hello and welcome to the BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition for 2016. I am Emma Bryan and we're going to look at some of the, well I suppose, not quite out there but definitely left of centre uh, projects that are here at the event to start off with. There's quite a lot of students here, 1,000 odd, so it's no surprise that some of the projects they've come up with are a touch on the creative side. So your project jumped out to me when I was looking through the brochure as one of the wackier ones out there because I know anybody who's watching this video wants to know what made you think of focusing on coconut oil deodorant? Well, like, coconut oil deodorant you can make at home. Because, like, what we made is all, like, covered ingredients. Like, arrowroot, coconut oil, bicarbonate soda. So you don't necessarily have to go out to the shops and buy it yourself. You can just make it at home. It just makes more sense. Uh, so, Laura, so your project's very different for multiple reasons, at least because Ice hockey isn't exactly a big sport in Ireland, so what made you think, you know, want to look at ice hockey sticks? As an ice hockey player, I've always wanted to improve my performance, and the stick is a fundamental piece of the ice hockey equipment, and I was wondering what the science behind ice hockey sticks are. Each ice hockey stick has a flex rating, and they're bendy. This is unique to ice hockey. Okay. For example, field hockey doesn't have a sort of hurling. And I was wondering, what the different flex variants, do they have an effect in speed and the accuracy of shots? So I looked at the, app, the uh, sticks and I found that different flex levels do take effect, but not a huge amount. Oh, uh, guys. You've done a bit about the evolution of the sports bottle, so I suppose to start off with, what made you think, I want to make a better bottle? Uh, I was training there around two years ago, and I said, I need this device. I was like, I went looking for it, and there was nothing, so I just decided to make it. So, what's the bottle you've made? It's a sports bottle, catered towards swimming, mostly, and contact sports. And, so, and why do they need a different type of bottle, I suppose? Well, not a different type of bottle. It's because other sports you can wear uh, watches and uh, wearables yeah. you know, that take all this information. When in swimming you can't, it's a health hazard and it's uh, clumsy. So, other than, say, if you're cycling, you can wear your watch. Running, you can wear your watch. But swimming, no. Contact sports, no. So this actually measures your body movement through your bottle, basically? Yeah. Um, your heart rate. Your heart, heart rate. rate. And uh, has a pace clock in it as well. So there was one when I was looking at the brochure for a young scientist at. I really couldn't let slide. Damien, you're probably about beards. So, what exactly are you looking at? Uh, well, we're just kind of looking at um, men's perception of beards and how they grow and uh, just the way how women perceive it as well. Yeah. And, and as a beard lover, you know, both those uh, questions, uh, how, the answers to those are very important to me. So, what did you learn about beards? Well, we found that women definitely don't like beards. Uh, <laughs> uh, and dudes? Uh, well, most, well, most men grew it for stylishness. Um, laziness was also prominent. How, how prominent was laziness? That's actually what I'm curious about. Uh, I think it was 14%. And, uh, 60% style. style. And as a, you mentioned, women don't like beers. So let's be more precise. How did you learn this? What did you do research wise? Uh, well, we, uh, we signed a few questionnaires. Um, started off by even out to the senior years in the local girls' school. And then we went out to um, local hairdressers to kind of look for sort of older age bracket. Okay, so I'm okay if I don't go to Russell Common, what he's saying. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Damien, best of luck in your science. Thanks very much. Kelly, for you, it's a very personal project. So why did you choose this focus on sort of diabetes? Um, in December 2011, I was diagnosed with diabetes type 1. And this means I have to check my blood glucose more often to make sure it's between 4 and 7. Um, I play a lot of sports, play a lot of Gaelic football. So um, before I did this experiment, I was taking 250 mils of an NH drink per every half an hour of strenuous activity. So um, it's like this bottle per hour of activity. Um, and this is creating a number of problems because um, firstly, I had to have more frequent visits to the dentist to prevent tooth decay because of the high sugar content in the energy drinks. Um, and also, um, I've looked at different energy drink websites and they have said that they're not marketing um, energy drinks for anyone under the age of 16 because later in life um, it can actually lead to heart attacks and problems. Because you were doing a lot of experimentation, a lot of testing, what did you find were the be best alternatives for you in the Smith Coaching okay. Team? Um, 
I found that strawberries were the best alternative. After researching, um, I was after finding out that strawberries have one of the lowest glycemic rates, meaning that the carbohydrate is released quickly um, into the body and it only has a small amount of carbohydrate. And we'll be back later today and of course throughout the week here in the RDS looking at further exhibits and other trends developing at this year's exhibition.